It's so hard to like find the right angle over here. Hey. Welcome to the channel. Um, yes, this channel is Sasha and Saya, but today it's just me and I'm going to be doing a thrifted fall haul for you guys. Before we get started, I will tell you I am drinking La Barba coffee today. I made it in my fellow pour over here. That's not fellow, but I made it with a fellow. And I'm drinking the Rwanda and it's so good. It's one of my favorite. I've gotten a lot of requests for shop with me's and hauls and what do I wear and where do I buy things um, and especially in Utah we have really great thrift stores and I feel like I get this question all the time of people saying like how do you thrift teach me how to thrift um, so hopefully this is going to give you an idea of kind of what to look for at the thrift store um, what I've been looking for at the thrift store and kind of what I've brought home with me today um, so I'm super pumped. Man, I really got a lot of stuff for you guys to see. And I think total I spent like $30. That's probably right, 30, anywhere from 30 to $40 on all of this stuff. And truthfully, I love all of this stuff. So I think we all know like the benefits of thrift shopping. Um, it's a huge movement right now with thrift stores and people saying, hey, buy secondhand, don't buy brand new because when you buy secondhand, you're helping the environment and you're um, buying sustainable clothing. So that's something we try to practice um, in our family and honestly, it's just kind of nice because it's more affordable, but you can still find really good things that are on trend, so it's kind of like a win-win. Um, the only thing I'll say about thrifting is my one tip <laughs> is that if you're going to go thrifting, you kind of have to have an open mind with like what you're going to find. You can have an idea of what you're going to look for, but go in with an open mind and be prepared to look at everything because seriously, I think like one thing in here popped out at me and it was these and I freaking have wanted cowboy boots for so long and so that's probably why they were like, Oh, like there, waiting for me to grab them. So, that normally doesn't happen though. So normally, you like especially with clothing, you have to be willing to look, you have to be willing to search and bring hand sanitizer because sometimes thrift stores like can be dirty. <laughs> so excited to show you um, what I got. So first and foremost, I've already talked about these a little bit, but my cowboy boots. So with these, I recently just did a photo shoot with these and I went out in like an off the shoulder red dress, you can see here, and the cowboy boots seriously just added so much fun, so much personality, and if you've been on Pinterest or Instagram at all recently, you can probably know that um, cowboy boots are super on trend, but my main inspiration for them was Sarah Jessica Parker um, when she wore like the denim jacket and the biker shorts and the black shirt and the cowboy boots. So cute. Love you, Sarah Jessica Parker. You're awesome. Um, so, anyway, with these, I feel like they're really cute with like a little like mini dress, but then also they're really cute with some jeans. And I um, love it with like a knit sweater. So cowboy boots, some black jeans, maybe some distressed jeans. Love black jeans right now, of course, always. The brand on these boots are Laredo. They're actually men's boots, but I fit a men's size seven. So it worked out really great for me. They're a little big, but that's fine. Um, so when you're going to thrift stores, if you live in a place like Utah or Indiana or you know, Kentucky, like with some rural areas, look for cowboy boots because they're totally on trend this season. They're actually like the perfect fall and winter shoe because they keep you warm. They're waterproof, weatherproof, weatherproofed. They're weatherproof <laughs> and they are just so cute. As you can see, so freaking cute. Love cowboy boots. Another thing that I found at the thrift store that I really like 
um, that's really on trend for the season is this cardigan. And there's a few different ways that you can wear this. You can wear it like more dressed up and more like designer with like maybe like a silk dress um, or like a skirt and it's just kind of more classy. But the way I love to wear these cardigans and I'm so excited that it's finally chilly out and I can wear this is with some distressed denim and kind of unbuttoned like at the bottom so you can see with like the high-waisted denim. This is super on trend this season and this brand is actually George, which I think is Walmart. But the thing about these, you can literally find cardigans like this, like kind of cropped cardigan with a V and the buttons. You do not have to spend like $20 to $70 like at a shop on this. You can literally go to a thrift store and find it for so cheap because I think I bought this for like $3 at the DI and they have a ton of these. Like it's kind of like a grandma sweater. Like my Nana wears these. I feel like a lot she'll wear cardigans like this and so you can find these totally at the DI or um, Goodwill, Savers, Village Thrift I think is another one. This is a thing I got from Savers. Um, and this is, wow, couture? Wow, 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 wow. Wow couture, I have no idea what that means. Um, it was probably a great brand in its time. This, I, it was one of those things. I was just looking at every single like blouse that they had in Savers and this really caught my eye because it's almost Halloween, it's fall. Um, it is a knit top with kind of like a bell sleeve but not super belled out if you can see that. Um, it has a natural V that goes down in it and a collar. So this is something, again, that you could tentatively dress up, but honestly, I think that it's so cute with a pair of jeans. Again, um, as you can probably tell, I love my mom jeans, my high-rise ripped mom jeans. They're like my go-to. and. This pair that I'm wearing right now, you can see, is from Zara. And I destroyed the knees, but whatever. These were only $40, I think. And I love them. The only thing is that they do stretch, like the more that you wear them. So by a size that's a little tighter, I got an eight. I should have probably got six, but they're also super comfy and I feel like I could wear these in Thanksgiving and eat whatever I want and still be so cute and so comfy. On to a little more casual look. This is something um, that if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen me wear a few times and it's so cute for fall and it's so easy to find at the thrift store. Like, so easy to find. It is a men's Henley and I got it in this kind of burnt, rusty orange kind of color, if <laughs> that makes sense. Um, because it's fall and it's really, really cute to wear into some high-waisted black skinnies or actually just any high-waisted skinnies. Um, I also love it in my mom jeans, um, another one like this in white for Saya and he wears it and looks great. So um, this is Northcrest brand and I got a size large. In tops, I'm normally like an eight to a 10 or like a medium. And I got this in a large because I wanted it to be more baggy, oversized, like kind of comfy um, look. I wanted it to look like it was my husband's shirt. So that is super easy for you to find. And again, these kind of shirts, like you can find them at Airy or um, American Eagle or Urban, like men's Henleys. And they're like, like pretty expensive, anywhere from like 20, to $50, whereas I got this for $3. And so it's great quality. You just throw it in the wash before you wear it. And I've already gotten a lot of use out of it. So I have never done this before. So I hope this is good for you and I hope this is helpful. Um, this piece I'm also really excited about. I know they say that all the time, but 
I love a good denim shirt and that's exactly what this is but I was really excited because it's gray and it's different I feel like I have a light blue denim shirt and from Wrangler and I have a dark blue denim shirt um, just from Cotton On I think and then I found this Wrangler and it's gray and it's honestly in great condition there is like a little black mark on it somewhere but I don't even know like where it is this is so cute to wear with like high-rise black jeans and then kind of tuck in button a little lower um, that's something you could easily pair with heels and go out like casual for drinks or it's something that you could pair with sneakers and you could wear just during the day um, so I love love denim shirts super easy to find this was found in the men's section it is a size large I wanted it to be again a little oversized a little baggy um, so I could wear it with some tighter jeans um, because I kind of love that look. this um, corduroy top jacket corduroy jacket okay so a little story behind this I saw on Pinterest a corduroy jacket with high high waisted pants and like a tank underneath and or like a white t-shirt underneath and I was like oh my gosh that is so cute and so I looked up corduroy jackets or corduroy tops and again they were expensive and Sai and I are on a budget we're saving up to buy a house and so or to build our tiny home and so that's just not in the budget. It's just a trend that I wanted to try out, I thought would be fun. And so I went to the thrift store, of course. And I went to the men's section and I found a corduroy button up shirt. And I didn't want a shirt, I wanted a jacket, I wanted it to be kind of cropped. And so I took this shirt and as you can probably see, I cut it here. And I just kind of distressed the bottom so it has like an easygoing, distressed look. Um, and I love this. It is perfect to just throw on if it's like a nicer day like today. It's 60 degrees, so you're not really in a sweater, but you're not really in a tank top either, like a short sleeve. This is perfect to throw on on top of your t-shirt or tank top, whatever, and keep it like fresh and still fall looking, but also keep you warm. And I have no idea what size it is. It says size three. So this is probably so old. I have no idea. If you know me, I don't really wear dresses. Um, my friends would probably comment on this and agree. I rarely have wore dresses in the past, but the past few months I've been like, okay, you know what, dresses are cute and I wanna wear a dress and I wanna look cute in a dress and so just kind of getting myself to be like more comfortable in dresses um, and I love what I found at the thrift store because again, like I'm trying this out, right? And I don't necessarily wear dresses a lot so I don't wanna spend a lot of money on something that I'm just not gonna wear a lot. I'd rather trial it at the thrift store and I actually love what I found. So I found this dress here. So cute. It is a sweater dress. Um, it has no brand on it. I found it at Savers. I think it was like $5, something like that. Um, this is really, really cute to wear with some vans or to wear with some boots. Um, if you have over the knee boots, that is like ideal, that's perfect. I unfortunately sold mine a long time ago because I'm stupid. I found this from Savers and I was really excited about it. It's from H&M and I like shopping H&M. I like shopping Forever 21, but again, like it's just not sustainable always to shop there um, and it's kind of adding to the high demand for like fast fashion. So I try not to shop there a lot. Um, I do shop there occasionally, but I try not to shop there a lot. So I was really excited when I found this H&M fall dress. And again, it's really, really cute with some Vans. It's really, really cute with some high boots or ankle booties. 
and this is something that it's like a t-shirt dress kind of so it's not flare it's just straight out there something that I have worn to a really casual dinner um, with family but I still wanted to look cute and I just threw it on with some bands and it was awesome it was perfect for the time some of these dresses are more ch of chance but that's what I'm trying to communicate is that when you're at the thrift store you have to look at everything because it's not like I got these all at the same time like these were from me going to the thrift store looking finding nothing going to a new thrift store finding one thing this is my dinner dress for fall and probably for spring it has a nice slit on the side it is button all the way down it's kind of like a nighty dress which I like it's like a nighty dress meets a blouse and they had a baby and it became this dress here and I love it so much it's super flowy this is something that you could take into all seasons with you um, so yeah if you are thrifting look for a dress that is similar to this um, because it's awesome it's so cute good alternatives for this if you're a shorty and you're super cute and I'm jealous of you if you're like five five and under I'm honest to God jealous of you because I feel so tall sometimes so don't take offense to being a shorty it's awesome and if you're tall girl love it love your little long legs so good anyway had to clarify um, if you are though like under five five you could like potentially get away with going to the men's department and finding a men's sweater that is like a dress or a men's shirt that's also like a dress on you um, and if you're over that then we kind of have a disadvantage um, when it comes to finding dresses be encouraged that there are definitely um, good things hiding at your local thrift store you just really have to look the next few things that I'm going to show you the next three things I'm going to show you are from a place called Uptown Cheapskate which I love going to um, it's kind of like Plato's Closet or um, Buffalo Exchange so okay Saya and I kind of have like a rule or a thing that we do here or we try to do here and basically it's when we buy something new we have to get rid of something so our closets never growing it's just always rotating and exchanging and changing and sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't and then we have to get rid of stuff but what I love about Uptown Cheapskate and why I go so often is because I can take in some clothes and I can either get cash and buy new clothes or I can get store credit and I can buy clothes at the Uptown Cheapskate so these next three items are thrifted um, but they're thrifted from a consignment store so not really a thrift store I showed you this with the cowboy boots and oh my gosh it was so cute and I like want as soon as it drops like past 50 I'm wearing that outfit like out it's just been toasty this, I like saw it and was like oh my gosh it is Urban Outfitters and I saw this when they had it in store and I saw it at full price and it was like 50 or 60 dollars and then I saw it when it went on sale and it was like 20 dollars and then it was like a sale on the sale and it was like 10 dollars and I just I never bought it because I just didn't like need need it and then I regretted not having it like I regretted not buying it because I love it and I think it's so cute look at that look at the colors like so unique I have just not found anything else like this so this flannel I am so excited for and it is a size medium and it's meant to be oversized this girls guys children parents grandparents whoever is watching this <laughs> a good flannel should be soft it should be oversized and like drapey and it's a necessity it is a staple just like your chunky sweater your flannel is a staple for fall it is 
awesome. So anyway, I love this. I'm really excited to wear it with leggings. I don't think I've ever shopped at Express. Nothing's wrong with it, but I just wanted to say that because it's odd that I got two Express things. Um, so anyway, I found this down coat and really now that I'm thinking about it, it should be part of my winter haul, whatever. So comfy, I could go to sleep. It can be a blanket, it can be a pillow, it can be a coat, it can be <laughs> whatever you want it to be. My friend Mercy says I look like a marshmallow in this, but whatever Mercy, so freaking cute this coat. It's really puffy and it's really warm. It has a nice high collar to it for being outside and my neck won't get cold and I don't have to wear a big scarf. So yeah, love this coat and you guys all need a good puffy coat. As well, thank you so much for watching my very first haul, my fall haul, fall thrift haul, thrift haul, fall haul, thrift haul, fall haul. It's really hard to say. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, if you liked this haul, comment below and maybe I will put together another kind of haul or like a winter haul. If you want Saya to do something like this and you kind of want to see like where does he shop, where do I shop for him, <laughs> no I'm just kidding, how does he like put stuff together, outfits together, um, let me know. I don't know if he would want to do that but if you want to see that let us know. Maybe we can convince him and see you later. <laughs> okay.